But West Side Mike is on the score. Hey, Mike. Hey, fellas. Look, I think the Cubs look very tired. I've been in Alabama for three months, and I'm tired of that town. That's my hometown. And the Cubs look tired from celebrating from last year. Look like they got the dead arm. It look like they ain't a dude. But the second half, they're going to win that division. They're going to win it. And I don't know if they're going to win a World Series, but I think they can come back and win uh, uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee got nothing but cheese. That's nothing in Milwaukee. But Mike in Milwaukee, he's a good man. But other than that, Milwaukee is garbage. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, as always. Steven Deerfield, you're on the score. Guys, I mean, you know, I heard we talked about last know. week. We talked about get them on, get them over, get them in. I wasn't on last you week. Know, huh? I, I wasn't on last week, so. Okay, no, but, I mean, you know, it was just a general conversation with Ryan, and it's like there's no small ball. With who? You got to admit that, you know, from the seventh game of the World Series, mad what, miss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mad what, what do you mean, no small ball? Small ball no small sucks. Ball. There's no getting them on. There's no getting them over. We're leaving no. guys that, that, on base. Why that, would you no, play what, small ball what, with what, this what, lineup? What are you talking about <laughs> yeah. small ball? Where does that come from? Who oh plays my that? God. What are you guys looking at? You had any. What, what year are you in? What, oh what, what, God, so what, what year you're in? How many guys have we left on base? Hey, you know how you get guys off base? What's the best way to do it is? What's the best? What's the best way to clear the bases? Move them forward. Get them on. No, get them off. no, get them no, over, no. Wrong, wrong. I'll give you another chance. What's the okay. best way to clear the bases? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll acquiesce to you. No, you, I'll, I'll give you as many guesses as you need. What is the single best way to clear the bases? Get hits. Uh, what kind? <laughs> not he. Not, no, you're. Hey. Bases. Nope, bases. nope, nope. You're, you're still wrong, Steve. You're still, Base hits don't clear you're, the bases. You're still unbelievably yeah. wrong. What is the best <laughs> single way to clear the bases? I'll say take walks. Oh, boy. you're, you're He's either you're, trying not to get yeah, this, this, is, this is a uniquely bad baseball call. This is no. you are in, You're in the land of very, very bad baseball thoughts. I, Steve, we're, we're going to keep Steve. No, we're going to keep no, Steve. No, no, no. I, I want to make a different point I, because well, I know Steve knows the answer. He's just purposely not saying it. But, I, Steve, here's, here's I my question to you. I think he does. Yeah, I, I don't care if you choose the oh. Dodgers, the Diamondbacks, the Nationals, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Astros. Take any one of those teams and call them the best team in baseball – None of them play small ball. And that's just that's not Major League Baseball Let's, right we're, now. We're, sti- we're sticking with this. We're this, with this is Stephen Deerfield playing America's favorite game show. What is the best single way to clear the bases? Hit a home run. Thank you, Steve. And what is happening at a record pace this year in baseball? A pace that has never, ever, ever been close to anything we've seen before. What is happening? Getting home run. There, we're getting smarter about baseball. Thank you, Steve. Small ball is for uh, another another time. Maybe back in the 1970s, maybe back in the dead ball era, but that's just not what we do. In Vernon Hills, we find David, and David is on the score. Hey, guys, enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you. We're trying to. Quickly, before I start, Hub, I met you once at Charity. You're a very good gentleman. I appreciate it. Thank you, David. So, 93 was a win, oh, wins uh, over under for the Cubs. They're at 43, which means they would need to win 51 games, 51 games in the next 74. Should I just rip up my ticket? Uh, oh, on the over? Yeah, I'd rip yeah. up the ticket. I mean, you know, there's, no, <laughs> there's no point in ripping it up. You know, miracles happen, but I certainly wouldn't be counting on spending the money. Okay. I just I just wanted to check. Yeah, 50, what is it? That would be uh, 51 and 23. 74. Yeah, yeah, I don't that, think that's, that's going to happen. Although the yeah. what were the, the Strohs weren't far off that actually, if you look at it in the first half, it's uh, some point they were close to that. But yeah, this team they don't have the pitching for it. <laughs> we can we can do it a, a thousand times. This team doesn't have the pitching right now. In Calumet City, it is David on the score. Hey guys, um, there's no way uh, Milwaukee's giving up this lead. There's no way they're giving up this lead, no matter how. I, I, I respect you as a football man and and everything. Don't get me wrong, but it's not going to happen. They could be eight games out when the first, uh, when the, uh, after, uh, right before the All Star break start be, beginning. You know they got to go to uh, Baltimore and Atlanta. I'm, I'm David. I'm not sure what we're talking about. We're in the All Star break. They're four down in the loss column. When they get yeah. ready to start the All Star, when it gets start start the regular season again. Okay. Now my thing is this: uh, you got to give Milwaukee credit. They went to Yankee Stadium. And they almost swept them in Yankee Stadium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, huh? you can't diminish them. Yeah, I'm not. I know these analysts and ESPN and MLB constantly say, "Oh, 
all right, they're cussing and you're booted out of, out of they're going to boot in Milwaukee. No, they're not. Well, they, they, just, they, David, just another year, they might. Just a regular year where I don't, D- David. I, I think there are a lot of reasonable baseball people that still believe the Cubs are a better team, and with seventy-five games left, will move ahead of a, a team that is probably overperforming yeah, right now. Dave, I th- I, I'm not saying you're wrong, but but if you take a look, I believe it was literally just two weeks ago the Brewers were five hundred. Uh, I mean, this is not a great baseball team. But you get momentum. No, 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 you don't. And no, no, and not only that, they got better hitters. I mean, you're going back. Okay, you keep going talking about two thousand. Right, D- David, I just, I just look again, again. This is this is silly. This is this is just silly. You the, the, keep going back two thousand sixteen all the time. No, no one, da- no, no one is David, and no one is not giving Milwaukee proper credit. I think everyone is trying to assess the quality of these teams and the talent that is on both rosters, and I don't think it's unreasonable to. Imagine the Cubs overtaking a team that is not as talented yeah, as I, mean, they I, are, I would venture. That is playing better than they are. I'm, In Highland Park, it's Benjamin on the score. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, I was listening to the last couple callers make comments about the Brewers and uh, and all that. I, I, I'll say this. I'll give you a perfect example. Remember of what? The Blackhawks, An example, the example of what? Well, well, about the, the, the Cubs will overtake and, and probably win the division and the Brewers are not a threat and all that kind of stuff in the second half. Nobody said they weren't a threat. Well, either. well, most people think the Cubs are going to overtake it, I, I mean, in the second half. I, well, that's just anecdotal. I don't have any reason to believe that most people think that. Uh, Benjamin, well, I, yeah, I gave an opinion, and that's my opinion. Right, I wasn't well, speaking I, for anybody else. So, yeah. well, mm-hmm. well, overall, uh, I've been hearing it constantly on the radio that the Cubs should be a better team than the Brewers. Put, let's put it like that, they, which they are. But the Blackhawks were the best team in hockey, and the Predators knocked them out in the first round. And on the radio, because they weren't, they had the, the they, they had a better they, record. It doesn't mean they were the better team. Hawks, the Hawks were the better team in the whole no, the whole no, hockey no, league. No, no, no. If if that if that didn't tell you what the better team was, if those four games oh, didn't tell yeah, you what the better team was, happened, then you weren't paying after attention. After it happened, it did. Yeah, but before it happened, the Hawks were favored. They were favored to win the. Win it in, in five or six games. All right, you can't compare. Down, you can't compare hockey. Beat out four, okay, let, about, let's let, Benjamin do me a favor. Let's not compare hockey to baseball because they're radically different sports. But the Brewers, uh, oh, they're not God. as bad. They're not as bad as you may. A lot no of one's saying they're bad. No one right. said they were bad. Now, whoever wins the division in the Cubs division, and I go into the World Series. That's so not tr- necessarily true because it doesn't matter how good you are when you win a division. I just don't see any team out of the Cubs division going to no World Series. This okay, year. well, it, it, over it, the Astros, the Dodgers, and all the no, you, you understand that. that the playoffs have have very little to do with the out- outcome of one sixty two. That once the playoffs begin, anybody can win the World Series. Uh, you remember last year? The Cubs I'm telling you, based on based on history. Yeah, based, based on, on history, history yeah. based on what actually occurs, based on fact. That once the playoffs begin, anybody can win the World Series. Yeah, but nobody in the Cub division. Oh, okay, that's uh, this is this is making me unhappy. Eighty-three win Cardinals. I don't think you can. In DeKalb, <laughs> it is Jim on the score. Hello, Jim. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Um, I'm just trying to validate this oversimplification about them not being hungry. Uh, there might be something there because if you look at the guys that are actually performing on the Cubs. It's guys like Wade Davis, um, John Jay, Ian Happ, people who weren't a part of that glory of 103 wins in a championship. You know, Jim, I, it's, it's, it's interesting you find those three examples. I, I guess didn't I, Wade Davis win one with the Royals? Uh, yeah, I, think, I don't was think he, he was celebrated on... the way that these guys were. <laughs> he won the World <laughs> Series! His yeah, World Series think, doesn't count as much? Exactly. No, they won after 108 years. It was like the biggest victory ever. Wait, so wait, so wait, so hold on a second. So wait, whoa, 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 So Wade Davis is now uniquely motivated, but you, based well, on your, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, based on your argument, last year's meant more because it was after 108 years, so how could Wade Davis be uniquely motivated even though he's already won a World Series and they won it just last year? Oh, Dan, I was hoping I'd be the caller that you actually agreed with. Oh, hold on. Huh? Well, thanks for taking my call. What? He wanted to be the caller you agreed with. No, he didn't. He just wanted to hear himself talk. Well, think. I think he may have wanted to be the caller you agreed with. I no, don't know I, about that. I, <laughs> Northwest side, Joe, you're on the score. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Good. You know, you, earlier you guys were talking about uh, that guy interviewing him about uh, the dead ball era, changing the game around, whatever. You know what? Why don't they lower the, uh, raise the mound 
where it used to be. Because you've got a strikeout problem already. Well, well, wait a minute. You're going to see a more competitive game. You're why? See ERA wait, 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 down wait, a wait. You're, why, why are you going to see a more competitive game if you make the pitchers that you're down? Because you're going to stop, gonna stop the home runs a little bit more. Yeah, but you're going you're to radically increase the strikeouts. And well, you already, what you have, if you were listening to Brian Kenny, I Joe, understand, yeah, I, I heard him. Okay, I heard so him, you, I'll give you my opinion. Okay, wait, wait, yeah. wait. Deep breath. The, pro, Deep the, breath. The, the big problem in baseball yeah. is the lack of balls in play. Right. That you have a large number of the three true outcomes. More than ever, plate appearances end in home run, strikeout, right. or walk. Right. Rate, um, rate, listen, raising the mound doesn't help that. Well, that's, uh, that's a, uh, an avenue to, uh, to look at. But uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Joe Madden, and his chemistry set that he takes into the dugout to try to flip-flop things around. Listen, the bottom line. Nope. Mike on the north side, you're on the score. Hello, Mike. Um, I can't. Good, good afternoon. I'm calling in agreement with a call a couple calls ago. Okay. And okay. he said that he feel like the Cubs are playing like they they ain't hungry no, anymore, and I oh. agree with him. Shep, are you doing this on purpose? Seriously, man. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> it got to be something. Seriously, Shep? It's like. Honestly, play with the cards you're dealt. Tonight they ain't playing the same. I watched the whole season last year. I went to seven games at Wrigley, and they ain't they ain't the same team. It's something, and all the guys who wasn't there last year is playing with the spark that they had last year. They're just not as good.